Jennings Anderson and Martine Van Exel will be presenting at 18 years old is OSM Entering Adulthood. Take it away. Thanks, Jess. Um, hi, folks. Excited and honored to be here and to be the first, the first post keynote speaker. Um, so thanks, Jess, for introducing us. We are going to talk to you about sort of some data analysis that we did. Uh, let's first introduce ourselves. Uh, Jennings, you want to go first? Yeah. Hi, everyone. It's great to see you. So happy to be here. Uh, my name is Jennings Anderson. Um, I'm an OSM researcher. I've been exploring kind of the evolution of the project, both as a community of mappers and a map uh, for a number of years now. And I'm currently doing that um, in my role as a research scientist at Meta. Yeah, and I'm, I'm Martin van Exel. I'm a pretty long time OpenStreetMap contributor organizer. Uh, I've been on the OSM US board before. Um, I'm, I created a thing called MapRelift that you might be familiar with. Um, I organize OpenStreetMap Utah. I'll talk about it a little bit later, by the way. I uh, work at CART and OSM things as well. Um, so let's take it away. Um, this slide we skip. Um, so just as an introduction, so OpenStreetMap is growing over 18 years old now and it changed. Um, so uh, as Min showed also at the beginning, the map looks really barren and um, it's it's really filled out in most places, right? Wherever you go in the world, there's almost everywhere where there's a map now that looks decent. So it can be harder to find things to improve or add. So we were wondering how does that affect people, where, how, and where, how, and how much people map? And that's what this talk is, is, is really about. Wonderful. So to do this, I wanted to re, uh, revisit one of my favorite kind of OSM investigations. Um, these, uh, this was an investigation done by Alan McConkey um, back in 2016, where he, and, and it's so fitting for this conference, because he was really borrowing this term uh, called wiki gardening um, from Wikipedia um, and turning it into this phrase of, is there such a thing as, as map gardening? So what I, what I mean here, um, or what, what he meant here when he was kind of proposing this is this idea where with a, a, a wiki garden, you have um, all the data has been contributed, right? So everything has been planted, so to speak. Um, and it's the job of the, the gardener to, to maintain what's there, right? Weeding, pruning, um, and not so much planting new data. So if we apply this term to OpenStreetMap, um, which, you know, you can think of it that way and uh, Wikipedia uh, is like the OpenStreetMap for encyclopedias, right? Um, if we think of, if we look at this kind of map gardening as it applies to OSM, uh, we could have a couple different scenarios that would, that would play out. So first would be this kind of ghost town, as Alan called it, where you have, um, where you have on the bottom here, we have kind of data created and then data edited going up on the, on the Y axis. And so you could see this kind of point where you'd have data kind of edited and created at the similar rate, and then it just kind of dies out as there's not a lot of activity happening. Um, and the second case we'd see where this would be like a true garden, right? Where we have everything is planted, but then new, no new data comes in and it's only just going into uh, kind of this maintenance phase, if you will. I see people kind of talking about that in the chat as well, this kind of maintenance or gardening phase um, as data is continued to be edit, edited. And then the third way we get this kind of Borgesian map where only data is added um, and not as much edited. So I'm gonna jump ahead now to what we actually see. Um, oh yeah, Mark has got the slides. So this is what we end up seeing, this kind of interesting global trend uh, of this linear, linear global trend where the ratio of updated features to the total features in the map is fairly linear. Um, and so, and then we also see here this kind of pink area in the back is showing the number of users, which also tends to be kind of this linear, uh, linear growth of actual active uh, contributors here. So um, it is interesting, we kind of see what, what Alan was kind of calling this like singularity where we do see this really healthy balance um, and so what does this kind of imply? Next slide. You wanna go, you wanna hear oh, oh, perfect, sorry, there it is. Um, so yeah, so we see that there's, you know, mappers are not put off by the fact that there's uh, not as much new stuff to add. They are still adding stuff and then also, um, and also editing kind of in this uh, linear, uh, linear rate out of this kind of consistent rate. So um, we find with this kind of linear trend that that adding and editing, I think we can say is, has kind of always been equally important. And it's interesting, we don't see a huge shift in recent years, one way or the other, but just this like 
continual uh, steady progression. So now we're going to show you a bunch of a bunch of plots, um, and Martin's going to kind of introduce how we talk about these. Yeah, these will all look very similar. So at the top, you'll see sort of the, the ratio over time between editing and creating. So the, 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 the lower this chart goes, the more creation is being done versus edit versus updating um, if the chart goes higher. And then at the bottom, you see an, um, a representation of the absolute number of edits over time and the absolute number of users in, in green as well. So just to just to skip um, right ahead, I'll I'll go into a few continent level um, a continent level um, um, uh, charts. You see here Europe, where you see a gradual, very gradual increase from forty to so about fifty five percent updates, and also a very very steady growth of uh, of active users uh, on a day by day basis, um, and a cons very consi fairly consistent uh, new 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 feature creation of about hundred thousand features a day. If you look at Africa, you see a very different picture, right? So you see a, a map that is much more in creation mode still, um, and actually um, it hovers down the 20% uh, update versus creation um, for a while, and a very spiky, uh, very spiky, um, uh, uh, very spiky sort of uh, uh, over time um, update, um, like feature feature addition uh, numbers. And going to South America, you see a very constant, like around 40% update versus uh, versus uh, versus creation, and a um, and a and a also fairly spiky, but also growing number of uh, number of map updates. And then finally, going to North America, we also see this 40% ratio coming back, right? Where 40% of features is being created versus 60% of all edits is being our updates, and also fairly steady uh, user growth. Um, and to conclude, I think Janice will talk a little bit about how this breaks down for a, for a, for a few different uh, states. Oh, here's Asia as well. Sorry, I skipped over that. All these all these things, of course, are for review uh, and nip, and picking up picking uh, apart by yourself after the presentation. Cool. So thanks, Martin. Um, so we can look at now a couple different regions in the U.S. So we have gone ahead and created. Uh, these graphs for all states and territories, uh, all different regions, as well as continents. And we'll share the, the link there. Um, we want people to be able to go explore these um, on their own and kind of look at your own state. So I think the Northeast is kind of an interesting case here. When we get more regional, we do see this kind of back in like 2010, more of this like 80% edited uh, versus created. And we kind of see this like general trend that's maybe moving a little bit more towards that like 40, 50% line um, as, uh, as, as we see a lot more new data and new users. I think what's also really great here is to look at this in the bottom chart here, this user line um, has really, you know, spikes in like around 2020. We do see this trend uh, across, most of the, across most of North America. Um, and then it, it kind of goes down a little bit 2022, but we also see it kind of coming back up. So this is, uh, this is what the Northeast looks like. So I think the Important thing here is we did see that whole global trend being linear, but as we break things out, we see some kind of differences and that's what's that's what's interesting to us here. So, and then the next is the Midwest. Um, we do see kind of similar again, not starting quite as high as it did in the Northeast, um, but like going from 80% and then kind of really leveling off around this like 40% ratio, right? Of the amount of data that's uh, edited versus created. So we are seeing map growth, but we're not seeing anything kind of abandoned as that like Borgesian map showed. Um, and then we also see kind of the similar pattern of people of the growth of users. So Southern US also very kind of similar. Um, we are seeing this kind of trend towards like new new data, but also really maintaining the, the existing data. Um, I do want to point out, I know we have one minute here that the all of the uh, these spikes these all correspond to like pretty significant events um, that are growing the community. Um, and we can kind of see if you kind of take some time with these maps, you can see like one spike in the bottom is then matched in the top in terms of how new data comes in. And then all that data is subsequently kind of updated and edited. And then Martin, let's just jump to the kind of conclusions on North America. Um, great. Mm -hmm. So take, go, go ahead, Martin. No, go ahead. Uh, takeaways here. Um, Overall, we do see this kind of North American very healthy blend of data contributors and data editors. Um, I think that this like 40, 60% breakdown is really creative, uh, is, is really fantastic. We are seeing this growth in the, uh, in the map and, and people are continuing to maintain, maintain this data. We also see like this big spike around like 2020 of new users. 
um, that was really when like a lot of like mapping USA and OSM US like online mappy hours and all that stuff really picked up like pandemic times. And so I would like to kind of, I think we can see the numbers here. This has been pretty successful, I believe um, in kind of growing this community. So, um, you know, hats off to, to OSM US and everyone who's been working in that. I think we are seeing, um, seeing that data reflected. Yep, and we have for for your for your own perusal. If we have all the states and the territories in the in our appendix, and you, of course, you were, you were very happy to get some feedback from you as to how 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 you how you what you read from these um, from these uh, slides. So thanks for letting us present, and um, excited for the rest of the conference. Thanks, guys. Thank you.